guys, welcome back to Missy and Scatter. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make homemade 2D paper squishies. So I have 2D, a little bit 3D paper squishy. And I'm gonna show you how to make a 2D one too. So I'm making a s'mores, so take any type of marker that you have, mainly a sharpie. Try to get a sharpie on your hand. Okay, let me show you what you're going to need. A book to put your paper on, a printer paper, two glue sticks, marker and some pens or markers pens or markers anything you can color with okay so first you're going to start off by taking your paper and your notebook and just kind of draw out the sketch that you want actually no I'm not going to do a small one I'm gonna try to think of what I wanna do. Hmm. Aha. Okay, I'm gonna make a Harry Potter symbol. So I'm gonna do H P and like a circle. So I'm gonna do So start drawing out the sketch that you want. You can do this with a pencil first if you like. Uh, I didn't really have a pencil, so I'm just doing this. So I have HP. For inspiration for you guys, I guess, uh, I have some inspirations. So like I have apple jelly stuff and then I have grape. I also have iPad, Switch, this with my name on it, a weird a purple pencil, an iPhone, that's like my thing. Tamagotchi. So yeah, all of those tint spray. So you see like these glossy ones? We're not making those ones. We're making the paper ones. So yeah. Okay. Then, oh wait, I forgot one thing. You need scissors. Okay, then you're gonna cut out your sketch or drawing. Okay, then you're gonna take your sketch. After you cut it out, you're gonna go down one and you're gonna trace it. So, and then you're gonna try to trace it. Oh yeah, you also need paper bags. Depends on how many you're making. No, I moved 
it? Okay. We'll just... And if it turns out to be bigger than your sketch, that's good, that's good. It's really good. So it's going to be bigger than your sketch. And I'm going to draw Hogwarts on the back. Hogwarts. And draw like a little heart under it. And then you're going to cut out your other sketch. Paper ones aren't my favorite ones to make. My favorite ones are actually um, the ones with the tape. But I had to improvise because um, I literally do not have any more tape because I used up all the tape. Okay, now we have this. Now you're going to take your book. On the second one you did, you're going to take some glue. Any glue of your choice. And then you're just going to glue on the sides, besides the top. Do not glue the top. So I'm kind of just going in big. Do not do the top, though. No matter what you do, do not do the top. Okay, then you're going to kind of squeeze it down. Kind of. Hogwarts. HP. Okay. Now, the top will still be open. Take your marker. Kind of just take your marker and kind of just make it where there's room. You're going to take your bag, which I already have some cut up bag, but it's too big. So you're going to take your bag and you're going to cut it. You're going to just start cutting it. And you're going to do it until you have the right amount of what you need for that minute. And then you can take your bag and put it in. And when you're done with making this project, you can color it with your pens. If you have no Walmart bags, that's okay. You can use something like cut up paper or foam or something like that. Or maybe foam from another squishy that you don't like. Or squishy that you do like, but not that much. Mine's looking good so far. You're going to keep adding it until you would not be able to. You would have to be able to glue it. So, I like to punch it down in there. Let's see. Punch it. Then you can add your biggest piece. Or your... Just keep going until it's filled up. You can pause the video if you liked and you had a bigger one. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to glue it on the opposite side. And then I'm going to stick it together and hold it together. So I'm gluing the top. Okay. So you can see. And I'm holding it together. Just hold it there for just a second. Just for a small little minute. Okay. Try squeezing it. And there you have it. You have yourself a homemade paper squishy. And all you need is a couple of things. Uh, should have put more glue. <laughs> okay. Put 
even more glue. Way more glue. Sometimes it won't stick together, which means you didn't put enough glue or either you didn't hold it down long enough. Now you can take any of your coloring tools, mine are pens, and you can draw it however, you can color it however you want to. I'm gonna start from the back. Try not to pick a hole through it. Okay, so I'm gonna try, draw it and make it really pretty but to also not to poke through it. I'm not gonna color the background because I'm not really feeling like coloring the background. My blue pen. I'm gonna do um red for Gryffindor. Cause he's Gryffindor. So we have the P and the heart. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna use red for Gryffindor. You can make these for your friend or anybody because these are really fun to make. My other ones got tore up from like a year or two ago. They got literally tore up because like I literally played with them so much they just tore up. But they were the tape kind and I made them at my grandma's house. So there you have it. That's how you make a homemade, homemade DIY, DIY squishy, like a paper squishy. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so every time I post a new video, y'all can watch it. Adios, amigo. Bye.